What is going on, everybody? The Rain Collective is the name of the channel. My name is Winthorpe. And I wanted to do uh, a series of videos that's really talking about more of the business side and making sure if you are in the industry of creating, you know, if you are holding the camera with your photography, videography, you're in front of the Mac, you know, in front of your PC, you're editing, video editing, you know, photography, color grading, all of that. I just want to put that all into content creation, right? So I won't have to list all of it over and over. But are you taking it seriously from the business aspect as well as the art? Because a lot of times as artists, a lot of times as the creators, we focus so much on the art that we forget about the business. And if this is your business, this is how you eat, right? This is how you make money. Are you truly treating it like a business? Do you have the business side in order? And I'm going to have so many videos just kind of going in depth with each individual topic. But one thing I want to harp on just even today is establishing yourself as a business by getting an LLC. All you creators out there, if this is how you eat, do you have an LLC? Are you an established business with whatever state that you live in? Or are you just saying, hey, this is what I do for a living. This is my business. Come check me out. Or have you registered with the state? Do you have your EIN number, right? Did you go to the, the tax website, do the EIN and get established? Because wherever you live at, they don't care that you told your cousin or your brother that, hey, this is what you do now. Let me shoot your, your wedding. It doesn't matter how many weddings you shot. If you haven't been registered with the state, if you aren't registered as a legitimate business, it's like you really don't have a business, right? And I bring that up because, look, this industry is expensive. There's a lot of money that has to go out before it comes in. And you're not always able, nor should you always be using your personal cash. And you should not be using your personal credit, really. Not You shouldn't use it at all. You know, maybe you want to start establishing business credit. You know, you want to put some of the, the newest cameras, you need to get a new lens. You may need to hire somebody and they need to get a B camera. You're going to have to get some business credit. You're going to have to charge some of these things. You can't just use your hard cash, especially I know the way payments work. Trust me, I'm in the same boat. Sometimes the payments don't come on time. It's a little late and you can't keep shelling out without having a return. So establishing an LLC, for example, now it has that mile marker that said, hey, my business has been strong for two years, three years. I'm bringing in consistent money. Yeah, yeah I want to get a credit card, a business card, you know, that's under the business name that can kind of help me out. These things can't happen when you're just telling people, hey, this is what you do. But there's no established documentation. There's no registry. There's no nothing. We have to start taking the business side. We have to start taking the financial side of things a little bit more seriously. People don't like talking about money, but it is important. If this is your business, if this is something that, hey, you don't care, this is just more of like a hobby feel, then no, this video is not for you. This video is really irrelevant. But this is for those who, hey, this is my business. I want to get into this business. So if you're in the beginning stages, middle, or you're doing it for a while, do you have the financials in order? You know, something as simple as having a business checking account. That's another important one. Keeping your personal and your business separate. How much are you bringing in? You know, do you have, are you invoicing people, right? Or are you just taking everything by cash or just give me a little PayPal here and there, cash at me? But you really don't know how much you're bringing in versus how much is going out. And also how do you even start pricing your work that it can make sense. So at the end of the month, okay, this is how much is going out. So I need to bring in this amount. So I want to go more in depth with these things that we always talk so much about the newest camera, <laughs> the newest piece of software. We know when that's coming out, but do we know, hey, how do we establish better business credit? Hey, I just started my video editing, editing company and yeah, there's no money coming in. How do I establish credit period as a new business? What do I do? What steps do I take? How do I get an LLC? You know, some people would even ask, well, why do I need an LLC? And if you, and hopefully you guys will stick around for these videos that I put out, establishing an LLC can be very powerful, especially as a creative. And this is to the content creators, getting the business 
together can be very, very powerful. If you know how to leverage your LLC, establishing your business credit, how to leverage business credit, a lot of what you want that may seem so far off, so expensive, you know, it's closer than you think if you have the necessary financial steps in order. So I wanna definitely go more in depth with that and hopefully that can help someone out there and not make the mistakes I made early on because I made a ton of mistakes. I'm definitely speaking from example. When I first got into it, I just wanted to create, work, shoot. I would take any deal, any price that I was just so eager to get on. So I wanna help you guys. Don't make the same mistakes get the financials in order early. You're an artist, you're creative, you're great. Listen, that's not gonna go anywhere. You will always keep striving to be the greatest content creator, the greatest photographer, greatest videographer. But remember, the business is just as important if you wanna have longevity in this. Or do you just wanna be you know, known in your neighborhood? Right. <laughs> All right. So more videos on the way talking about this. Subscribe. Stay tuned. Let's get